Boom. Welcome. to this new corner of my room. I've been thrifting a lot these past few months because literally there's nothing else to do where I live in this town. All my friends and I do at this point is we get coffee and then we go thrifting. That's the routine. So because of that, I've accumulated a lot of clothes these past few months, so I thought I would do a massive collective thrift haul and show you guys clothes I haven't really shown before and a few of my favorites, so. Yes, let's get started. Let's start out with this large pile of grandpa sweaters. I have been going through a fashion identity crisis lately. I don't really know what my style is anymore, nor do I like any specific type of style right now. Like, I look at clothes and I'm just like, eh, okay. There's nothing that has been making me excited or inspired me to wear. And it's so hard for me to come up with outfits now. It's been quite a bit since I put on an outfit and have felt good and confident in it. And I genuinely don't know what's going on. Maybe I've lost my spark and passion for like clothes and fashion and stuff, but oh, that rhymed. Ah, uh, I'm a poet. And I didn't even know it, okay. I did have a certain style before, but I think because of TikTok and everything, my old style has become the new basic. So now I kind of feel this pressure to have to change what I wear because I don't want to be basic, quote unquote, even though there's nothing wrong with being basic. But now I don't feel as good wearing the clothes I used to wear. Maybe it's a superiority complex, maybe it's a individual, individuality complex. The only thing that I've been liking and I've been confident in liking is grandpa sweaters. If you can imagine an elderly man wearing it, I'll probably like it. So obviously after finding out that grandpa sweaters are the only thing I feel good in right now, I bought way too many. I'm taking off my rings because they're annoying me. This is my most recent one that I bought and it's probably my favorite right now. This for the most part is just a dark blue knitted sweater but if you look closely there's like patterns of green, yellow, purple, red, orange. It's multicolored. Okay, it's mixed. It's biracial. Is that okay for me to say? I don't know. We have this one which looks black but if you look closely it also has dark green in it. This one we have some stripes going on, some brown, yellow, blue. This one reminds me of the library like if I was a librarian this is what I would be wearing we have this cool color blocked one it has like red green this green actually kind of matches my nails Wow and lastly out of the unnecessary amount of sweaters that I now own we have this one which isn't really a sweater it's more of like a collared shirt but it has a sweater material to it and it still gave me off that grandpa vibe it's more of a skinnier fit compared to the others and I usually like my clothes a little bit more baggy because it's more comfortable but also because it hides my body moving on I have another sweater. I said that was the last grandpa sweater, not the last sweater in general. I have, I have quite a few more. I found this plain basic Nike sweater. I just got it because I feel like I need more basics. I was also kind of shocked coming across this. Like you don't come across a Nike sweater on a daily basis because I feel like this is the kind of shit a Depop seller would take like that or like any basic team would take like that. So it was very surprising for me to find this. So of course I had to get it. There is so much lint on all of these clothes. This could have also gone in the grandpa sweater category, but it's this green long sleeve. It has like a stripe on the chest. I got this shirt, which I think these are actually called rugby shirts. I could be wrong. Should I look it up right now? Mm, yeah. Oh yeah. Yes, they're called rugby shirts. Wow, I was actually right. Good job, Justin. But we have this green and blue rugby shirt. The brand is Dockers. I actually have another rugby shirt, but I kind of got tired of it. So I'm glad I found another one. That's another thing that ties into my fashion identity crisis. I get tired of clothes so fast. Also, especially if I post a picture in it on like Instagram or something, I feel like not wearing it ever again, which is kind of stupid. I should be getting use out of these clothes and wearing them multiple times, but it's almost my like for them disappears after I've worn it and other people have seen me in it, which is very stupid. I need to get over that and just like force myself to rewear clothes and like it. I don't know why I just hate clothes after a short amount of time. That's why I'm constantly like cycling through new clothes. Anyways, cute rugby shirt. Love it. Next, we have this Ralph Lauren polo long sleeve and it's brown. 
All of us bitches have been into brown and green lately, I know. So of course I got this. It has a very weird texture to it. It's almost like the thermal thing you would put under your clothes as a kid. I don't, actually, I don't know if that's like relatable. I don't know if everyone had to do that. But my dad used to make me wear these like thermal clothes under my actual clothes when I was a kid. So then it would keep me warm. It's kind of like that texture. It has like a weird gritty texture to it. Fun fact about me, I have a thing for fancy silky shirts. I just think they're so beautiful. So I just find myself getting them a lot, but this one's like a pretty light blue and it has chairs on it Honestly, the chairs are what sold me. I don't know why but as soon as I found out there were chairs on the shirt I just bought it. I just thought it was funny <laughs> Um have I worn it yet? No, I haven't. I love thrifting these type of shirts, but I never wear them out. There's never an occasion to wear them. My excuse is I buy these type of shirts for photo shoots. That's kind of the only situation in my head where I would wear this, but who knows? Maybe a disco, if that ever happens. I actually just bought a disco ball over there from the 99 cent store. The 99 cent store has disco balls, but it's very pretty and it reminds me of the 70s. Moving on, we have some sweater vests. We have this blue one, it has a diamond pattern to it. It's an extra large, so it's really big on me, but you know, we make it work. This yellow one, which is actually one of the things I got my first time going to Goodwill Bins. Let's talk about Goodwill Bins. If you guys don't know what Goodwill Bins is, it's basically Goodwill Outlet, and it's this warehouse that you go to, and in this warehouse, there's a bunch of carts and bins with piles and piles of clothes. None of it is organized, and I've known about them for a while and always wanted to go, but I just thought there was none near me. Turns out, there's one like 15 to 20 minutes away from me. Who would have known? You know, I could have just done a simple Google search, but I didn't. But at least now I know. So obviously after I found out there was one close nearby, the next day, zoom, zoom, got my ass over there. And right when I pull up, it was 8 a.m. So they just opened and I see this line swarming into this fucking warehouse. And I'm like, what? What is going on right now? Turns out Goodwill Bins is very intense and competitive, which is okay with me because I'm a very competitive person. I like winning. Just imagine you're thrifting in a normal thrift store, you know, you're shopping, relaxing, chilling, taking your time, and then a girl walks in with Doc Martens. That is when it is a competition. That is when this has suddenly turned into a race, okay? And then you gotta go. <laughs> and look through everything as fast as you can. That is basically what Goodwill Bins was, except 10 times more of that. Not only did they have teenagers up in that Goodwill Bins, but they also had Depop sellers and moms. And the type of moms that love a good deal, let me tell you. Walking into Goodwill Bins, I didn't know what I was doing. I was a Goodwill Bins virgin, okay? I thought all you had to do was go to a bin, look through it, pick out what you want. But apparently, there's a rule where it's one person per bin. I did not know that, and I had to find that out the hard way. At Goodwill Outlets, they're constantly changing out the bins. I would say every 10 or 15 minutes, they will take out the old bins and put in new ones with new stuff. And when they're taking out the bins, people will line up around this like tape of square where the bins go into. And essentially, they're just waiting for the bins to come out to look through the new stuff. So when the first few new bins come out, only a few people start looking through the bins. And I'm like, that's weird. Why isn't anyone else looking through those bins? There's only like one person going through that one right there. So I decide to go around and go to this bin where this one lady's looking through it but she's like looking through one side of the bin so I decided to look through the other side of the bin and then she's like, excuse me and I'm over here like, oh what, yeah? One person per bin. What? One person per bin. Me being me, after she said that, I was still confused. So this Depop seller teen guy had to come up to me and be like, yeah, there's only like one person per bin. Like if you want, you can like stand behind them, kind of like a line if you want to be next. That's kind of how it works. I'm like, oh, I didn't know that. Sorry, didn't know that. He was super nice and everything about it, but I was still embarrassed. I still got super insecure. So I left. That seems to be my solution for many things. Like if I get embarrassed or something, I leave. Should probably come up with something different to cope. Anyways, that was the story of my first time going to Goodwill Bins. Back to the haul. I got this brown sweater vest, which is probably my most favorite sweater vest that I have because I really love this color and I don't know, I just think it looks really nice. I'm horrible at describing clothes. And this last sweater vest is kind of weird, but it's this crochet sweater vest. So I don't know how I'm gonna wear it or style it, but you know what? 
that's for future me to figure out. Next, we have this cardigan. It's crocheted, I think, or knitted or some shit like that. It's multicolored. It's got blue, orange, red, purple, green, hams, yams, tomatoes, potatoes. I got beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, rams. But it's very much so that grandma look, which as we know, I'm into that elderly look. I really like cardigans because whenever I wear them, I feel like a recently divorced English teacher on a porch, specifically on a cold winter morning. Right? Am I right? Another cardigan. Whenever I wear this one, it makes me feel like an English woman. Like, it makes me feel British. It gives me very much so Princess Diana vibes. I'm not even sure if she's ever worn anything similar to this. It just makes me feel like British royalty when I wear it. I think it's because of the silhouette, but also it's royal blue and has gold buttons with like fancy detailing on it. And it just, it screams tea and crumpets. Next, I thrifted this flannel. The last time I wore a flannel was in middle school during those YouTube days where the peak of fashion was tying a flannel around your waist. But I found this one and I really liked the colors. It's like green and gray and it's super comfortable and it's actually from Old Navy, which is very surprising. Okay, Old Navy, I see you. I have this vest jacket thing. I don't know what these are called. I got this because it reminds me of Kelso from That 70s Show. I love that show, by the way. I never watched that show because I wasn't really attracted to it at all. It was one of those shows that would be on at night when you woke up in the middle of the sleep, like George Lopez, and that just never got me into it. But I needed something to binge, and all my friends watched it already, so I decided to watch it, and turns out it's really good. And I really love the fashion in it. I just think in general I love 70s fashion, so this reminded me of it. It has this light beige tan corduroy, and then the brown, and I just thought it was really unique and cool and different. Next, trench coat. I have been wanting a trench coat for so long, and I finally found one in their store. This one is from Banana Republic, so it's really nice and good quality. I think I actually spent 20 bucks on this, which is pretty pricey for a thrift store, but considering it was Banana Republic, I just got it. Wearing this trench coat just makes me feel super cool, like I'm a secret spy or something, or a flasher. Um, I could also look like a flasher. I haven't gone and wear this that many times yet because there's never been an occasion to wear it. Like, I don't know where to wear this to. Homophone. I kind of imagine myself traveling to London or like England or something and wearing this, like somewhere European and cold, and that's where I would wear this. But I live in California, and there's just never really an occasion to wear this, especially me being an 18 year old boy. Where am I gonna wear this? To the grocery store? I maybe. I could. Next, we have another one of these vest jackets. This one's just plain black. This corduroy jacket, which is really... Ugh. Ugh. This corduroy jacket, on the inside, it has a flannel material pattern, and I thought it was just really unique and interesting, and I haven't really seen anyone have a jacket like this before. It does have a few stains on it, but you know what? It gives it character. This next thing is probably one of my favorites and I'm super excited about. It's this white puffer. I used to hate puffer jackets as a kid because my mom would make me wear them to school and I would feel like a fluffy marshmallow and I would just feel very uncomfortable, but my mom made me wear them anyways, so I just grew this hatred for them. But now I love them again. Again, I never loved them in the first place, but I like them now. Kind of the same thing with turtlenecks. I used to hate those because my mom used to make me wear them, but now I love them. I love a good turtleneck. I know everyone has been getting those North Face puffer jackets, and yes, I do want one really badly, but that shit is so expensive, especially because it's kind of like trendy right now, and I don't know if I'll actually like them in a few months. Who knows? Maybe in a few months I'll get it if I still like it, but for now, I'm not allowing myself to buy a North Face jacket because I feel like I'm brainwashed and I just see everyone else wearing it, so now I want one. But also they're so cute and they're good quality. No, I'm not gonna get it. But I found this white puffer jacket while thrifting and I thought it was beautiful. I thought it was magnificent. It's kind of an off-white color and I don't think it originally came as off-white. I think it's just really fucking old and has a bunch of stains on it and that's why it's now an off-white cream color. But you know what? It's still cute. It has blue lining on the inside and it's super warm and good quality and I got it for a dollar. I think that kind of tops it off right there. And it makes me feel like a marshmallow, but in a good way and not how I felt as a kid. Amazing, I love it. Mwah, love it.
These last few pieces I actually got sent from Depop from a lovely gal. Her name's Tori. She owns Nostalgic Threads on Depop and she was kind enough to send me a few pieces. First, we have this colorful cardigan. This gave me Harry Styles energy. He has the colorful cardigan. Even though they look nothing alike, they kind of have the same vibe to me. When I wear this, I feel like I look like a five-year-old or an art teacher. And I mean... I mean, I'm, I don't hate that. We have this lacy shirt thing, jacket, owl button up. I, it actually doesn't even button up, so it's not that. But it's just a very ethereal type shirt. It's transparent, it's lacy, it's very pretty. It makes me feel like a Victoria's Secret model. <laughs> that was such a weird burp. Anyways, very beautiful. We got two more fancy silky shirts. This one might be familiar to you guys because I wore it on Halloween for my Harry Styles costume. It's this white floral rose pattern blouse. It has this tie so you can like tie a bow on your neckline. And then we have this pink satiny one and it has a lace collar detail. Also giving me Harry Styles vibes. I feel like I've said beautiful a lot today, but beautiful is the only word that I can describe it. Maybe I can look up some synonyms. Beautiful synonyms. Lovely, charming, delightful, appealing, engaging, winsome, ravishing, heavenly, stunning, arresting, glamorous. Okay, all of those words are those shirts right there. Lastly, we have this Elvis t-shirt. It's neon, it's very retro. I actually don't wear t-shirts too often. I usually wear like a sweater, a hoodie, or jacket or something over it. I just haven't really been a plain t-shirt outfit kind of guy, but you know, maybe I should start. That is all I have today for this thrifted clothing haul. Okay. See you guys next time. Bye. Or is this something I sell? Oh my god, I just realized I have to try these all on. Bird, shut up. Shut up.